Welcome back to our everyday living everyone We're back on location again So we've got this one here, he's already been sorted through so We're going to load that one up first Get some rubbish up off the ground Go through this one Just a bit good at trying to load the scrap metal. Those two, I'll go through. Barco's to them, there, there, and there. Just tip that up. I'll be able to put this bin back. I'll take the wheel. Nothing wrong with the wheel. Cutting wheel. Oh, darn phone. Darn phone can wait. <laughs> it's only dear old John. Good old Johnny boy asking me where I might. He can ring and ring and ring. I've got bins, bins, bins to go through. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, wrong way, Let's throw it in that one. Always love their pizzas here. And real. Wow. Is that 10 cent? Stay there, Ben. What is it anyway? It's a milk or what? 
Original orientation is here, yeah, okay. No ten sander on it. Nope. So I can only take the ten cent ones. That's what I dispense. Here comes the rain. Where there's rain, there's mozzies. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes. Blood sucking vampires, mothers. today probably won't get much at the park either that's all we've got to do today I'll look through that bag in a minute Turn that one, close that one up, pick up the tea bag. Uh, put a strap over that one. Hopefully, I don't leave me strapped in the horn this time, like I did last time. I think I was lucky that I've done it like that. Yeah. Anyway, we've got this one left. I don't know whether that's scrap metal or not, I wouldn't have a clue. Unless it's in the bin, I don't take it. I'll just use that one. Save me a bit of time instead of putting it in the ute and then have to put it back in. I'll just put it straight in the bin. I have plenty of time on my hands today. It's not open, so I can tear it open wherever. Get me grabber for that. I don't think the rest of the shelf. I don't think I'll need the grabber. It's a bit better than what I expected. Wash off. Be good. Nice 
Oh, so do I sit? But I don't want it. Can't cash it, can't use it. Not a spirit drinker. It's empty. I check everything. We I check everything. Turn that bin then. What the devil? Probably not a tan center. It's too small to be a tan center. Turn then. Cleaning out. Well, not much for the, this morning from here anyway. That doesn't matter. Got some scrap metal over there. Put two bins out. I'm going to put this one up top. Bag of carrots. Skinny. get to put these two bins back and get on to the park show everyone the river she's majorly in flood this is one boat ramp that um, it's higher than what it was oh, I think it was about a month ago that it came up here but yeah it's a lot higher than what it was it's not far up underneath the bridge it's not at its usual level it's only because of the rain we've had um, I'll take you over to the post over here and show you how far up it is just a bit of a walk oh look at that I found a can over here too two cans there two cans over there I'll pick them up on the way back there's another one tripped over one wow Oh, there's more here. Oh, she's up to uh, 5.8 meters. Nearly 5.8 meters. It's usually around uh, three, three meters. That's its usual level, which is this pylon's only just in water, this one here. So yeah, um, it's coming pretty close to this one. There's, there's probably one down in underneath the water there. So that's where that is. Um, the boat ramp that, that's way over the buggery over there. Uh, I might take this over there today and show you a bit over there, if I can get in because apparently they've got signs up saying that it's all closed off. So yeah. And I'll show you a bit more in the park too. Now let's find out what is in this lot. We'll go this one first. Whew. Tell you what the mozzies are bad here because of the flood and water. It's unreal. Like Boeing 747s landing on you. You gotta be heavy with you about these bloody mozzies. Take 
go through this there, go away. He's good old John. Johnny boy. Good old fellow he is. Oh dear. Oh. Morning. Oh, bugger. To keep these mozzies away in a bay. Oh, they're shocking, mate. <laughs> they're like a Boeing 747. <laughs> They're flat and they've still got the label on them. I can do something with them. That's that bag. Yeah, if they're, if they're flat, like, say, yeah, I could probably do some, oh, they're getting a bit far. But you can pull it through the, through the bark over there. Yeah, the it doesn't go through. Oh, okay. Yeah, no matter how much I try with those ones, that one there, maybe, maybe, because I can get him open, he's not completely flat. Ah, uh, but yeah, up the yeah, it doesn't know. matter, yeah. doesn't matter. Um, but leave them in there, um, and I'll see if I can get them open. And we'll go from that. And that's the best I can do. So uh, I pick them up myself as well. So, and if I can't, I put them in my scrap pile. <laughs> like you can see, I've got corrugated iron there, so I put it in yeah. the scrap pile instead of it going in the landfill. Yeah, no, that's all good. Yep, yep. Now we'll get it all put over there at the moment. We'll get it in and put it all over there at the moment. Yeah. So I don't think I'll get much out of here today. So. A couple of bog holes over there get to get in there, but they can get around them. That's right, yeah. No, there's a track around it you can get around there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe so. like Christmas time, if we don't get too much in the rain, they'll dry out. Well, let's hope. Let's hope, mate. So. You're trying to do the comb over, are you? Huh? You're trying to do the comb over, are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, it was all looking this morning, so I went it. That's all right. I'm, I'm on the phone here yesterday. I'm looking in the mirror. Oh, I got grey hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, oh, bugger. I'm over the hill now. <laughs> they do get old, you get grey hair, mate. <laughs> Don't you know, they say that when you get grey hair, it's a sign of distinction. Yeah, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I thought it was wiseness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, I don't think I've got much out here. I haven't seen many, many caravanners in here in the past couple of days, so. Oh, yeah. This only looks like a little bit. 
Hey, I wonder if that's got any in it. No, it's empty. <laughs> I was going to spray myself. <laughs> oh, that's what I was going to ask you. Did you find out anything about the, uh, the wear out there? What they're going to do with it? Or? No, he, what, Tony didn't come around. Oh, didn't he come around? No, they didn't left no bins out, nothing. So, yeah, but the cabins are still there, like you were saying. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'll find out next week, I hope. Cross fingers. Because yeah. I've got to find out, otherwise I'd lose that location. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah. There's a big skip in, I told you about it. There's a big skip in up there on the arm and place just across the river, across the canal from where I am. And, uh, there's two or three properties there. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to find out who actually, uh, Long and I'll, I'll go see if it, see if I, uh, I'll let you have a look through it if you want yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, if I lose this one out there, yeah, that's another place yeah. I can go. I'll, I'll check it out for you anyway. Yeah, sweet. But, uh, I've seen the, I've seen the uh, garbage truck come out there a couple of times and take it away. I think it's usually on a Wednesday. Alright. Um, I'll find out who owns it and um, see if they'll uh, be interested in it. Yeah, whether it's going to be worthwhile too, John, yeah. that's the thing. It's a fair old distance out, like you say. Oh, no, yeah. Uh, like, yeah, I've done a fair distance. There's quite a few people work on the Marmon Farm, so like other might be a few camps. I've already got one just out the road here, and I don't get much out of it. Yeah. So it just comes down to whether it's going to be viable, um, that sort of way. Yeah. Uh, did they win anything? No. <laughs> uh, I, not no, not today. Oh no, I did find five dollars on the ground here. Oh, weeks back. Just floating on the ground. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oh yeah. Hey, it's just not it, that way. It's not on the right side of the road. Keeping the place clean. Yeah. I try to do my best. Yeah. But yeah, I'm surprised the boat ramp over here, like that's higher than what it was previously from when it flooded. From back last month, I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Yes, in this bag. That'll do that bin. Oh, down and dirty. Yeah, it's a wonder I don't get a lot of women going past whistling at me with me bum in the air. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm pretty or anything, no, but <laughs> this is P PG rated here, you know. <laughs> we'll get on to this last one here. This is the Mary Good one. The non stinkable one. They're a nice cake, then. You get them from Aldi's. They're a damn nice cake. Yeah, no, they're a nice cake, then. June and I had one. Oh, shish. Then we bought three or four and we couldn't eat them all. <laughs> yeah, no, I, uh, I went to bloody, uh, yesterday. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, can't you waste some time in that bloody joint? Oh, you can, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, no, I went... I went for a drive around the back and seen what was around the back. I looked at the Aldi's bin there and it has not been emptied for probably a month. Yeah. It's overflowing onto the ground. Oh, I thought, nah, I'm not touching that one. Skipping, is it? Yeah, out the back. Yeah. I just thought to myself, I'm not touching that. They've only got to walk out and say, well, you made a mess. Mm. And uh, I thought, no, not touching that one. So I think it's Aldi's or Woolworths one. But yeah, there's bags on the ground and God knows what. That was why I was over that way yesterday doing the pickup. Hey, it's the whole carton. What was in there? 
How many? Ten. Ten. Yeah. Oh, that's a dollar. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I have been asked by general public and also caravanners on how much I'd actually get out of a ute load. I, I, I do average, like on a good ute load without this lid closing, about 110. So that's not too bad. But that's, that's give or take, you know, a dollar here, yeah, a, two or three dollars here, might be ten dollars there. Uh, you can't always estimate because of the size of the containers. Like you've got a, uh, what's that, 1.25 there? Yeah. And then you get the two lids, takes up more space. Yeah, course, right, yeah. If it was all crushed, yeah. and I got that much, yeah, probably the 110. But, um, but yeah, it's just one of those things you can't predict. Camping out there, out of where you were, yeah. And he's bloody blowing half over the camp, bloody hairy garden. Oh, you need the Bushman, mate. Bushman, Bushman, do you reckon? Yeah, with the 50% deet in it. 50% deet? Yeah, they don't like deet. Yeah. It's oily crap, but. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll have to get the Bushman to put it on the side of the road and we'll have a look. Well, we were there. Yeah. Plenty of room. Yeah. All right. Come, come in there and drive around the table. Drive around the way and then park there. That's right. Park the trailer in beyond the caravan. That's it, yep. Ah, oh, dear, pick up those couple. And on to the next one. On to the next one. I'll drag this one over. Oh, sounds pretty good. I'll leave that one where he is because I know that one's the uh, one that the wheel falls off. Those any day, any more? <laughs> yummy, yummy! I ran out of our food. Ah, oh, they drink that one. I ran out last night. Didn't have any. Why buy it when you get it for free? Free grog. Free grog. Yeah. Pretty damn good that is. Loving the free grog.
Nope. These are nope. Get a lot of heavy food scraps. I don't like it when they put the cans in the rubbish. Makes them look yuck. Definitely a no. That's it. Go through this one. That's a new one. You got it on there too. Damn mozzies, biting my chin. Oh dear. That's a tomato one, that was a, yeah, strange one, that one. Still goes through. What am I doing? That way. That way. Got a bin here I can put it in. Yes, Christmas is getting near. Three row row shares, there'll be a lot of those sold. Whole heap of cans in that bag. Them in. Butterfingers. Good old butterfingers. Get off me. The only thing I don't like is that job. 
Bloody ants. I think there's one left in the bottom. We'll point out. Might have been mistaken. Yep, I think I was mistaken. It was not. Nope, it was not. Alright, put him there. Let those flies fly out of there. I'm not going to waste fly spray on those. Size 11. They not shoes, they ships. like crap. Add one and yeah. Paying for the next day. No oh, pure blonde. Not a nice tasting beer. Yuck. I might bring that up to here. I don't think they're leaving today. That way if it comes along with the mole, you can mow that. Three there. I buried it, didn't I? Cover. Oh, I'll take those. Think for me water. For me, not, I'm not, Your filter? Yeah, it's not actually a filter. It's Bunnings? Just, it's a where you where the water goes in. It's a reducer, just so you don't get too much pressure in your van itself. It's just one of there's any caravan places in Griffith. Um, you know New Age. Um, he's directly across the road from uh, Super Cheap. Yeah. Uh, Bunnings is easy to find as you're coming into Griffith, um, and he's. As you pass Bunnings on your right hand side, you go around to that, you'll hit a roundabout, a fairly big roundabout. Go around to your left, uh, you'll see a boat place on, the, uh, on one side, which is called Griffith Marines, and then on the other side is called New Age. Oh, yeah. He might be able to direct you in the right place for your caravan, because he sells caravans, you yeah, see. Yeah. Um, he had a bit of business trying to get it going again because New Age closed down and blah blah blah. It's a oh, bit yeah. long story, but yeah, 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 trying to get him in the business there. Yeah. Other than that, Bunnings. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, it's just, I've had one once before, it went kaput for me. It just got no pressure, plenty of pressure outside, mm -hmm. no pressure inside with the water. And it's, they've got a little reducer thing, something about this long brass thing, which, so you don't... It's not blocked, is it? I, I don't know, I'm going to take it off later and just undo it. 
I can do, but yeah, yeah. Sometimes they do get blocked. Yeah. I own a caravan myself, and I don't worry about reducers and yeah. <coughs> go that sort of way because usually your normal pressure here is the same as your normal 12 volt pump. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Yeah. The only way we can get pressure inside is with the user pump. Yeah, because it's not before that fill that that reducer. Yeah. Um, have you ever tried going without that and just going normal tap fittings? Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to fit it because where you fit on the duct. I can have a look if you like. Yeah. I'll just finish this one yeah, off. Mate, yeah, yeah. Won't be long. Yeah. I've just got to beat the garbo bloke. Yeah, I've got to beat the garbo bloke for the for the oh, 10 centre. Yeah. yeah, mate. Follow out because we own a caravan, we know all about them. Put this up here, better than going into landfill. Yeah, well, it's bloody, it all bloody helps at the end of the day. We say, well, that's right, that's right. On to the next one. empty put him in there for now give him good advice it's always handy to give people good advice so trying to save him a bit of money some old pensioners they pay big, big dollars on brand new vans and then they have these sort of issues it's always the way there and see how much is around the back Glass. 
have this in. Yeah, here we go. Come to that time of year where they start to know where how to use their bottles, their gas cans. Drain them dry. Just like the rest of the bins are like that. Keep filling me up. Fill, fill it up. On to the next one. Anyone up for a swim? Not me. She's all in flood. Bring this one up here. Otherwise it won't get emptied. This one's usually down inside there. Ooh, I just about lost it all on the ground. That'd be a right mess on the ground, wouldn't it? On to the next one. Totes. Might take those. That one looks alright. Got the lid. Got the wheels. I'll take that. Empty the roach here. That'd be good for sorting out the cans. Gonna get me any more today. Oh, big ass toy, I'll take that. Does that need to fit that one? Yeah, it probably does. Got his mower out. Sit up the back. What else we got here? Mop. A few other things. Yeah, I'll take them up to the bin up the front. I'm not taking them with me, I'll just take them up to the bin up the front. Get them out of the road. The garbo bloke won't pick them up today. Oh, gee, god damn. That's got some weight in that. Wow, loaf of bread. That's fresh this morning by the looks of it. Might take that home. Oh, a candle, a candle for June. Another loaf of bread. I think this was moved this morning. Yep, I'll take that. What else we got in here? Nothing there. Take that. Oh, wow! Yay! Oh, got some shiny still here too. I wonder it's so goddamn heavy. I think we lost our truckies. Oh, yeah, we'll take those fishing jellies, lures. Oh, a bit more steel there. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. Take that that way. Put that there, no wonder it's so goddamn heavy. Yep, we'll take those. Of that stuff. Lost my potential customer there. That's only plastic, no good to me, but I'll put it there anyway. There's a bit of stainless. 
Damn. Put it on the wire. I'll take all the wire I can get. Hell yeah. Put that in there. Oh, look at all these cable ties. Zip ties. I'll take those too. I always use them. They can be saved too. What you do is you put a screwdriver down the tongue, zip it apart. Yes, I'll take the cup. Got a bit of stainless on it. Out of the bag, come on. The rubbish there. Ooh, that's got some spray in it. Raid! Bloody snail. Oh, another candle holder. Put that down the corner there. You can start doing the candles too. Nah. I don't think I'll take that loaf of bread. He's a bit, yeah, how do? How do you do sort of thing? Yuckies. Those others were just on top. No, that's good. It's not in amongst all this pus. Ooh, look at those ants. Put them down there, not putting them on the ute. We're going in. We're going in, everyone. Ooh, they got ants in that too. Put it down there and let them settle. Couple in the bag, that box there. Lost and grab her, it's in underneath it somewhere. So I gotta go diving. Diving where you have. I'm just gonna watch all these ants crawling all over me. Where's that spray? Hey, now I know why the spray was left in the bin. <laughs> Kill them! Kill them! Kill them each! Kill them each! Yes! Alright, we got it all protected now. Ooh, yuckies! Ooh, yucky! Don't touch me! Oh dear! Shouldn't use me, grabber! Bugger! Bugger! Oh dear! <coughs> I got attacked by a fly spray. <coughs> Where's me, grabber? <coughs> Bugger. <coughs> oh, I got suffocated. <coughs> Can't find it. We were It's never ram when I need it. Story of my life. I buried it. Where the hell have I put it? Damn. I know it's in here. It's got a blue handle. We run. Well, it's not this side. It's gotta be that side. There it is. That's how I find it. Blue handle. Nothing in that box. <coughs> right. 
one there. there. Killed myself. Suffocation. Oh, that was a good pick. Or one and get two. Keep it handy. Keep it handy. There you go, brother. Alright, there's only two cans in that. I'm not gonna worry about the ants. Leave the ants in the box. That there. Yeah, we don't want that plastic. Hang on to the bread. We went through all of this stuff. So we'll put that straight in here. Yeah, we hang on to that. I think we went through this. Yes, we did. I remember that. Yeah, that loaf of bread's got ants in it. Yeah, no. These are fresh. We'll put them in the front. On the floor, out of the front. Don't want them going all moisture. Getting moisture all over them. That was empty, you can take that that way. Put them in the front. Oh, we can put them up here too. Put that there, leave the fly spray there. Turn this bin around. Get on to the next one. Got one, two, three, four, five. Probably six to go. And we're out of here. Maybe six. Let's see what magic number we'll get out of this one. Probably none. Get a wine bottle. Wine bottle. We got some wine drinkers. Go for the gas can first. It got gas in it. Yep. Only just here it over the top of the mower. Put it up there. Drag or we'll bag it first. Oh, I might take that tray, the aluminium tray, it's not that dirty. Put it in the aluminium pile. Oh, there's a bottle. Full of water. Can in that one. Yeah, it's fish food down there. We've got the river over here, we'll go fishing. I'm just glad you can't see it on camera. <laughs> it doesn't turn me off. The old fish food, maggots as they call them. Yes, that's maggots. I call them fish food. It's a politer name. A lot politer name. I don't turn any, anyone off that way. Makes the video for better viewing. I'm a lot nicer that way too. Tinker, tinker, tinker. Tinker, tinker, tinker. Those are the wrong tinker, tinker, tinkers. Wow, a lot of sugar in that one. Much out of that one. Jesus. Proof of light. I might drag that one up here. Save me moving my car. Oh, 
Wow. We're going to use this one here. Good old Amanda. Comes out a nice flower, but it's a yucky, obnoxious weed. So I've been told. Travel shampoo in the pocket. Yeah, I wash my shirt today. There's another one. Better to put it in my pocket than walk over the door there and chuck it in the door. It's only in paper, it's not in food stuff. Which is a bonus. <coughs> we won't take it all out of here. Bottles of water coming through now. Look at that. One there. Well, I just done away with that label. That label can go into that hole. Come here. We'll get to and put that label back on it. That's the easy way of saving it. It's inside it. Can't get out now. Is oh. there any in it? No. I just chugged on something there. I better keep my mouth shut. That's a big 10 center logo. That's what they need. Bag. The bag's still heavy. Clean it up here. Come on, that's to come. Oh, bag's tied up. Typical. Yep, yeah, one there. Run the water. Hey, you got June strawberry patch. Going like a house on fire. In meaning it's growing well. On it. Nothing in that one. Right. Put it there. And there, we'll get onto these next two up here. What a goodie are we going to get out of these two? Oh, that feels empty. It is empty. Oh, we've got some electronics in here. And it lost the wheel. Bye that. <sighs> Pitch specs. MSA. Ooh. They don't look too bad. It's got something in it now. We'll take those. That's a fancy looking item. Okay, fancy cords. Oh, another pair of spec savers. MSA. CD. Bit dirty. But I'll see if it plays. Couple more CDs. a hard rock. Oh, the other one's in there too. It's a jewel. Double. I'll take that. We'll see if they play. Oh, there's another CD down there. Oh, I'll take that transformer. I'll take that. There's another transformer down there too. Shoot him up there. 
Put it in line of work. Yeah, she works. Taking home from my Bunsen burner. And the reason I'm grabbing it from my Bunsen burner. Keep that up there for a minute. Then I get these two CDs. Oh, three CDs. Get them out of the pus. I'm gonna salvage them. Oh, there's a case. Come here. What else is down under that? Oh, shit. I'll take that cord. CDs, CDs, CDs. Ah. What have we got in the bag? Too lousy. Two lousy bottles. What a bugger. Oh, I've got other stuff out of it. We're on rations today. No point trying to empty all that out. Well, we'll just sit that stuff there. I'll pack it away later. We'll get onto this bin up here. Oh, don't forget me wires. I just about forgot them. Test all that out in a minute. What's it got? Oh, he's got a fair bit in there. A lot of cardboard. Pity it doesn't go in the recycle bin. Definitely got it. Oh no, we've tried those. They get cold and yeah, they're no good, those. Ooh, someone purchased something. 12 volt jug. I hope it works for them. A big pouch you with that one. I don't think I'm going to find much in this. Well, there might be one or two in there. Ooh, coming down to some clothes, are we? Yes, there's a clothing. What size is it? 18. I might grab that for June. Chuck it in the wash. More clothing. Take those two. Oh, that's a nice looking shirt. What have we got here? More shorts. More shorts. Not board shorts. More shorts. More clothes down the bottom too. What is it? Plastic or aluminium? Plastic. I'll take it for June. Drag it in there. See if she wants it. Oh, that's brand new. Still in the wrapper. Super cheap. She's just a big can. Bonus offer. We've got some more clothes down here. We'll take the clothes. Oh, that's heavy. That feels a bit heavy. You can't pick it up. Okay. Double action. Can't quite read it. It's a bloody. It's blurry on my eyes. 20 mils of spray. I don't know what it does. Pharmacy chemist. Oh, no, I'm not taking it. Yuck. I thought it was a um, car deodorizer. See? Goes to show how much. Ooh, big hunk of steel. Show how much I know. Another brown. June. Oh, that sounds very nice down there. Oh, there's a candle there. Oh, the candle. That's a brand new candle. No, it's got, just got the lid. We'll get around to that bag. 
And we'll pull this bag up. It's heavy. Better grab the handle before it busts out. Put him down there so we can go down. Might be some nice and forks in there too. Don't know, don't know, don't know, don't know. Oh, someone replaced the handle. And... Okay, we'll put that in the ute. Sound metallic-like. Oh, come here. Come to Papa. Tink that bit. Tink it, tink it, tink it, that bit. Yep. We're done. We're that one. Right. I think that's all veggies. Feels like it. Yep. Rotten veggies. Yep. What have we got in this bag? Beer bottle. Beer bottle. June's bottle. Haven't heard June say that for a while. Bottle. She hasn't been on camera that long. She doesn't get her bottle out. Bins. There's not enough for the day. Got a long way to come just to get this stuff. Anyway, if I don't get what I want to get, not much I can do about it. That's that one. We'll go looking for some more bins. If there's no more, well, that's it for the day, and we'll go and dispense all this other stuff. Right, let's find out what we're going to get out of these two. These are the last two. Ah, uh, Lake Wangan, mate. The other side of Griffith. Lake Wangan. Lake Wangan. Yeah. Has the wife got wiki camps on her phone? No, she's got pictures of the kids. <laughs> no, it's a nap. It's a nap on the phone. It's the same as the camps book. Right. Yeah, and if you've got the camps Australia wide book, it should be in there too. I'll just, yeah, yeah. Barney, ten k. No, no, no. You're going the wrong way. Oh, the other way. Yeah, he's North Griffith. North Griffith. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, not that far, but yeah. <laughs> you you've got to go past. Uh, you go, you know where Little, well you probably wouldn't know where Little Woolworths is. Uh, they've got two Woolworths in Griffith. There's a big one and a small one. So yeah. Uh, you'll find it if you just Google uh, Lake Wangan, um, or even Griffith Boat Club. It'll come up. Um, even the public area for, um, uh, the free area for 72 hours for camping. Yeah. Ah, uh, food, little stalls, whatever. yeah, I don't know what they're organising. I just get told, oh, you've got to do this, God, got to do that, because I'm only the caretaker there, you see? So, yeah, I was out at 7.30 last night mowing the lawn. Because <laughs> I was going to be here today. <laughs> That's a big dog blanket. Dog cushion, whatever. She's a bit bugger dog. Oh, we got a pan down here. I'll take the pan, but not the fish food. There's a bottle in there. Oh, there's another pan.
Ooh, someone broke the mirror. Let's see there, that one. Put all the stuff back. Look, there was a few in there somewhere. Ooh. Nah. What the devil we got in that? Fairly solid. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. What have we got in this one? Keep it tight, boys. Keep it tight, boys. That do you? Oh Jesus, put some rubbish from the ground. I picked that up. Alright, those are the last two bins. So that's what we've got for the day. Some clothes up here, I'll get to and organise that. Take off the sweaty gloves. Show them away. Disposables. Hands are free. Um, we'll put these clothes in the car. Got some frying pans over there. I'm going to sink this down a bit more. There we go. Um, I will find out whether this stuff works. Yeah, on off. Don't know what that's for. Don't know. But I'll find out if it works. I've got nothing that fits these at the moment here. Oh, that one I have. My phone will fit that one. My phone won't fit that one. That's just an ordinary charger. Yeah, I'll have a look at that and I'll let you know. So, out of our whole ordeal for the morning, we got three nice double XL shirts. That's a nice one, that one. I like that one, but it won't fit me. I could probably still wear it though, but I don't like black because it draws the heat. This one's a nice going out one. It's pretty good. We got all the um, wire up there, stainless steel, got all of our normal paraphernalia cans and bottles. Um, all the electrics here seem to work, um, except for this little gadget here. It doesn't power up at all, but the USB on it does. So it's sort of yes and no, so I'll just scrap it out. There's, all the CDs work. Try them in the car, they work. Our free alcohol. That's what I like. It's primary craft Zephyr. New, made from New Zealand. It's a New Zealand apple and cranberry. Yeah, it's a cider. So yeah. Um some fishing some fishing lure do you like his rubbers or whatever you like to call them. I am that much out of practice in, in, in fishing. I can't remember what they're soft plastics, that's what they're called. Yes, I know I'll get ridiculed over it. Um, a pair of shorts, they might fit me, they might not, size 16, yeah they might fit me, they're elastic side, so they might fit me, just chuck them in the wash, wash them up, and they're pretty good, a couple of good totes, so yeah, I've got one up the back here too, so I'm going to try and save, I'm not saving the clothes basket, it's all broken, I'll be putting that in the big skip bin up here, uh, same as all of this stuff here. I did get um, some travel shampoo and conditioners there in the front. Got some frying pans there. I'm going to take the handles off and scrap out this aluminium because um, that's what they're made of. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and um, yeah, we'll definitely see you in the next one. Cheerio, everyone. Oh, before I go, I will show you a bit of the river. This is facing the park, then you come down and this is where the water starts. It's actually flowing into the park itself. Like well, it's at my feet at the moment. The road's over, covered over. You can chuck a kayak in there and go paddling. You're not out in that main current out there. It's flowing pretty well. Oh, last week I was able to drive through there. I'm not even gonna try it. I don't want to drown another car. 
So the bin that I usually go to, I can't even see it. I can't see it. Where is it? I'm not trying not to get in the water here. Uh, it is way over yonder. Way over yonder. You can barely see it right about trying to work my big ass finger. Right there near the sign. It's halfway up the bin. Um, the other one, it's in behind the trees over there, in between the fork of those two trees there. It's halfway up that. That is usually the town beach. She's got a fair bit of water over here. Um, yeah, it's in good flow because of the rain we've had. You wouldn't want to get out there in a kayak and get carried away. It's a fair body of water when you're in, it is in flood. Like there's supposed to be a drop off down here. Down in here. But you can't even see it. So, fairly wide when it is in flood. Like it can come up a bit higher. But it's on the, rece the receding side of it now. Which is good. Uh, you can probably see last week that um, all this was out of water. I think it was last week or the week before, I can't remember. But yeah, this is how far it has come up. Fair bit of water. And I tell you what, the mozzies are like jumbo jets here. They are huge. So keep your arms active. Wear long gear. Use a lot of DEET. Fair flowing water. Like there's a stick out there. There's a big log out there actually. It's usually out of water. This is not as clear as the weir. There's a lot of rubbish and debris coming down here. Leaves and God knows what. That's the main centre of it the, right there. So you wouldn't want to get into that. That's travelling around probably... Oh, well, I'm tipping 20 kilometers an hour. It's fairly quick. Uh, they've got the gates open up, up the weir. So I found out. So yeah, it's a spectacular sight to see. This is usually a walking path here. She's no longer a walking path. <laughs> As you've seen in previous videos, I've been able to go down in there and and show you how the water's progressing um, in the past videos. I'll try and find them and put them in the links below. So yeah, I can't even walk that distance. That's the best, good spot to put a kayak in, but not out there. You can put a kayak in way up at the weir, come down this way. So yeah, that's the water, just before I sign off. And, uh, I'll see you on the next video. Enjoy.